So you're like me and you like having nice things or nicer things or luxuries or, or whatever you would like to call it. This video is for you <clears throat> if you're like me and like nice things. Um, this is mostly about AC on the 88 to 98 GM trucks. Specifically, if you own an 88 to 92 or 3 GM truck. Um, when these trucks originally come out, they come with a R12 refrigerant type. So, nowadays, all, at least all or most vehicles use R134A. So, you can't put R12 and an R134A compressor, and you can't put R134A in R12 compressor. Technically, you could, but it's it doesn't work properly. Anyway, back to the point. I'm going to show you everything you need to put AC on your 88 to 93 truck with updated parts. Stay tuned. So first things first. What you're going to need is this little square radiator looking thing, which is considered or called a AC condenser. Um, there is basically two different styles. There's one that comes up and squares off like that, like this one that angles down too, or there's one that they sell that is both 90 degree angles like this. The top side matches the bottom side. This is an R134A specific condenser. So you do have to watch out for that. Make sure, I believe all of them that have the angle are 134A, but make sure you check before you buy. The next thing you need to get is a AC accumulator slash dryer slash receiver. Um, that is an important step and has to be R134A specific. Now, when doing a conversion, you can buy the ones for the newer style AC system that are R134A, but the problem is, is that the inlet, this, this is on this backside on the new one. So you would have to have it mounted out here somehow and just, it, it doesn't work. Now they sell a R134A that has the two inlets, the outlet and inlet here on the front just like your original one that come out of your 88 to 93 GM truck. That in itself is easy to get. Just gotta look up the right part. I can include a parts list for this, if you guys would like. Um, typically when you buy this, it comes with all your O-rings, um, including uh, here on the condenser, your compressor and everything else so you don't really have to worry about that and the other the other thing I will mention is that try and not cheap out on these um, the original one that I had found the threads were so screwed up that it actually it ruined the threads on them so I couldn't use it and I sent it back and got my money back so be sure to uh, buy good quality parts from a trustable uh, source. The next step in your AC um, revamp or whatever you would like to call it is your AC lines that go from the compressor to the condenser and from the compressor to your dryer. Now um, these are specific. Um, so with this compressor the holes on each of these is the same size so the first hose that I bought one side was smaller than the other and I was confused well they're specific so some of your newer style compressors have one size smaller than the other while some of these old style R12 compressors are getting converted into R134A um, they have the single this they're the same size hole so you have to watch out for what hoses you buy and make sure that they're both the same size if you're using an old compressor that's been converted to R134A. Just something to watch out for. Now the next step, I don't know if you guys can see that, 
that line right there that runs down goes to the condenser, which runs out here and ends right here. That is important. When you buy it, it will come with O-rings on it, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, and that's really the basic setup of getting all the parts you need. Um, the, oh, what's it called? Man, see, I'm gonna look like a dumbass on this video. It's whatever's on the inside of the car or truck. Um, I'll think of it later, not important. Anyway, you do not have to do that. That's not any refrigerant type specific. It can be reused. Um, some people do say you can reuse compressors. I just found it, I found more information or more people talking that you can't than I did that you can. So I figured, and I know it's stupid to say follow the mask because you know, some, you know, if the first person did it and they didn't know what they were doing and the next person does it and they don't know what they're doing. But I'm just going to go ahead and say, just get you an R134 compressor, make sure you're good. And uh, yeah, that's basically, basically it. Again, if you guys need parts lists or part numbers for any of these products that I've showed in this video, um, leave a comment. I'll get to you as quick as possible. And uh, thanks for watching.